Is it possible to find a good bass jaw harp on a budget? Subscriber Michael Jadoka one asked if there was a good jaw harp I recommend in the $30 to $40 range. I didn't have a good answer for him, but another one of my subscribers, Ari Sams, had suggested the bass harp from Tatarstan. So I did a little bit of research and it turns out this bass harp is really affordable. It cost me, in Russian, it cost me 1,400 rubles and shipping on it was 300 rubles, which brought it to, I think it was 2662. So really affordable this was. And inside this package from Russia is the bass kubis from Tatarstan. So let's go ahead without further ado, cut this thing open and see what we've got. Knives freshly sharpened, so should open a little bit better than the last one. The last package I opened, I got owned. We have plastic bag, easy to open, pretty simple package. Here we have it all wrapped in foam. Well protected and cheap packaging. See what we got. New jaw harp on a Wednesday. It's a perfect cap to a hard work day. Cut right through the rubber band. It was shipped on a wooden one by one. Or no, that's it's probably three quarter by three quarters, probably in millimeters, so I don't know if there's a, there's a good fraction for that. Here we have the base Kubis from Tatarstan. Nice loop trigger. A little bit heavier compare it to just got the standard from Tatar Stand, which was also suggested by Aerie Sam. This was a this was a good buy as well. And quite a bit thicker, thicker stock on this. The way it's set up, clean crimp. Quite a bit bigger. Got a nice heft to it. It's got a really good sound to it. Before we take a closer look, I'm gonna have to take a day or two to play around with this and see what it's got going for it. These past couple days, I've really enjoyed playing this harp. Uh, let's just go ahead and get a closer look at it. Here we have quarter inch square stock and a loop trigger. That nice crimp that we I see on the other Tatarstan harp, the standard to Tarston has that same or similar crimp, but a different style of loop trigger. Here we have on the base Kubis, we have a more rounded, and here we have an oblong, almost teardrop shape. Whereas, and also much thicker stock, 3 16 stock here, or whatever the millimeter equivalent of that would be, and closer to quarter inch stock on here. I compare the stock that this is made out of to the ones we see on Zalogi Black Fires. Here's a Zalogi Black Fire in mid A. Same or similar stock. Like this has a nice bevel there at the end. Here is a Zalogi Black Fire in low E. Similar stock. Let's go ahead and compare it to the thickness of a Masco Titan, my other bass harp. This is much, much bigger and thicker, but it needs to be because it's much longer. Thicker stock. But very, very nice playing, very nice feeling harp. It's very nice in the hand. I like the, the consistency of these triggers on the Tatarstan harps. Very nice harp. The fact that I paid less than $27 for it shipped, it really blew me away. It plays like a much more expensive harp. And the reed stability of this for, for a bass harp is, is, is really good. Digging the bass Kubis from Tatarstan. Let's go ahead and give a listen to this. Let's start at the top. We're gonna see what the range is. Start at the top, work our way down.
really decent range, pretty big and really rich in harmonics and overtones. Like the sound of this quite a bit. Let's go ahead and give it some breathing and see how well it responds to breathing. <laughs> This harp, i found so far over the past couple days, it's a real breather. It does excellent with breath and breathing. Let's go ahead and give it some percussive noises. Doesn't do too bad with the percussive noises either. Let's go ahead and do some inward and outward playing. One thing I've noticed about this harp, it's a little bit shorter than a lot of my other bass harps. And the reed stability on it is really good. I can play this harp a lot faster, much like some of my mid-range harps. Really good reed stability, really easy to play. It plays much more like a mid-range harp. And I don't know whether this harp is on the high end of a bass harp or the low end of a mid-range harp. It's kind of like saying, you know, the who is the tallest short person or who is the shortest tall person. I don't know all the details on that. I'll be doing some studying later on, you know, frequency ranges and where exactly does a bass harp begin, where does a mid-range begin, where do treble begin. But that's a separate venture. I like learning, so blah, blah, blah. I'll just drone on. Let's go ahead and compare it to sound to a Zalagi, Blackfire, and Low E. Here's the bass Kubis. Blackfire and Low E. And a Masco Titan with the ball out. With the ball, Masco Titan with the ball up. Come on. Got the ball stuck to this other, this other harp here. It doesn't want to give it up. The magnet on this ball is super hard. Okay, with the ball in, we'll go ahead and compare it also to the standard from the Tatarstan. Two harps from the same company. To the bass Kubis from Tatarstan. And this harp, it's not as low as some of my other bass harps, but I think this harp would be an excellent buy if you're looking for a bass harp on a budget. Now, if you're looking for an ultra low bass harp, this may not be the harp you're looking for. If you're looking for a harp in a specific tuning, like some of the Black Fires come, I'm not aware that these bass harps hat come in a specific tuning. The one I got was untuned. So if you're looking for a harp in a specific tuning so you can play with others, maybe this may not be the best thing. But if you're just looking for a standalone bass harp that plays excellent and doesn't cost you a lot of money, I would highly suggest this harp. I, I got it shipped to my house for like $26.65. On some other websites, I found it in between $30 and $40. But for what I got this harp for, it's blown me away. It plays very, very nicely. And I'm definitely going to give this a Beb Corp Seal of Approval. Lots of bang for the buck. This may not be the bass harp for everybody, but as a standalone harp for me, just for playing, I like it very much. Really rich in sound, lots of har harmonics, lots of overtones, really digging that. So I'm definitely giving this harp. Jury's out on it getting the Bev Corp seal of approval. Well, that's going to be it for Can You Find a Bass Harp on a Budget? Like, share, and subscribe for more harboring. Harp out.